Hi everyone, I hope spring has been great to you. I know that I've been grateful and I've been happy and it's been okay, all right? So here we are again on another Tuesday to talk about something that I think most of us have heard about, all right? All right, so let's get right into it, yeah? So if someone was supposed to ask me who were my three favorite actors, like male actors, right off the bat, number one would be um, Johnny Depp. Number two would be Will Smith, and number three would be Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf because I remember he acted in a movie that was on Disney one time, and it was an artistic role of an artistic boy, and that really grabbed me, right? And um, Johnny Depp because of Sweeney Todd and his Pirates of the Caribbean. And for me, Will Smith just growing up, um, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, you know, I Am Legend, I Robot, those really, I really love those roles. The roles that are out of the ordinary for me, yeah. And they do it well to me, That's like that makes a great actor, right? So two of these have been in the news of late. And there's a term that's been kind of going around. Toxic femininity or toxic feminism has been basically in relation to these two and their wives, right? So we know about Will Smith. I want to talk about Johnny Depp. Of late, he has been in the news a lot. Um, trust me, he is... When I used to watch movies, because I don't really watch movies anymore for spiritual and personal reasons, but when I used to, no Pirates of the Caribbean could have missed me. Um, Willy Wonka, the Alice in Wonderland spin-off that he did, like, none of them could have missed me, trust me. Like, I loved everything Johnny Depp was a part of, you know? And I always saw him as a great, great artist in the, in the world of acting, fine? So when I saw the other day that, oh, it came out to say he's an abuser, I was like taken aback by that, you know? I was surprised. Um, then, shortly after that, I'm realizing that this was a lie. It was defamation of character. His wife basically told a lie on him, made him the perpetrator, even though she was the perpetrator, and she was the one that was hitting him, abusing him. It, you know, it really, really sunk gave me a, a sunken feeling because trust me for another human who says they love <laughs> someone to do that to that person even if you don't love them now and to do that to them like come on where how how low can you go you know and this just my husband and i were having a discussion about it and he was like the point it, that he raised was i so to say abuse is a spectrum, right? At either end of the spectrum, you have the victim and you have the um, perpetrator. At no end of this spectrum is the man ever in a good light. So if the woman is the victim, not that she's in a good light per se, or but but people will she will be supported, right? If the woman is in the perpetrator, okay, she's gonna look bad. But still, the man is going to look bad. Because they're going to say, okay, the man saw for that woman to be beating him. And when you look at the, the spectrum of abuse for men, when they are on the spectrum, at no time at all are they seen in a good light. So it's not like, okay, he's the victim. We well, feel sorry for him. Or, you know, oh my gosh, it's happening to him. Usually, <laughs> they're not believed. Usually, and this actually happens more than we actually think that women abuse men <laughs> but because they're afraid you know they don't want to be seen as soft they don't want the society to say yo yeah idiot or if I met my woman lick you or whatever and so they don't come forward if in this case with Johnny Depp if Johnny Depp did not come forward with evidence nobody would have believed him and that's the truth and we always talk about toxic masculinity what about you know talking more about toxic um femininity toxic feminism you know we have to be very careful that we don't just label people as oh 
you're an abuser you're a rapist you're this and trust me i don't take i had a video on sexual harassment trust me i don't take sexual harassment or sexual abuse accusations lightly so these things should not just be thrown around you know this man basically lost many career opportunities you know they were supposed to shoot another um, Pirates of the Caribbean apparently and be, they didn't they didn't call him <laughs> He lost many job opportunities because of these false accusations this defamation of character. Yeah, and we see with Will Smith where He was defending his wife so to speak If you know their story, you know the back and forth there with Jada and all of that and it just came to me that you need to be very very careful as it relates to marriage who you choose for your life partner right be very very careful can't just go, get up and say okay i love you you love me let's get married there's so much more to marriage so much more it is the second most important decision you'll ever make in your life. The first most important one will be accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, of course. But the second one will be who you choose for your life partner. This person can make or break the trajectory of your life, where you go, what happens to you. Listen, I have seen people in the hospital and when they are ill, their partner is gone or the other side the partners stay and they are really there for them I just cannot imagine how anyone would feel so they are being attacked or abused but they are being portrayed as the abuser or the attacker while being abused like that is manipulation at its highest at its highest trust me I, my heart goes out to not only Johnny Depp, but anybody going through this. Anybody going through this, trust me, that cannot be easy. And you know, back to marriage is very, very serious. In Ephesians 5, 22, all the way down to 25, it says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. I've spoken about this before on my Instagram channel and a woman should never submit to a man who will not be willing to die for her right and a man should not be willing to die for a woman who is not willing to submit to him and that's biblical don't bother to get up with me in the Bible right and this is what marriage should be another verse says wives should respect their husbands while husbands must love their wives you know men are called to love i believe because that don't necessarily come as easy to the man while women are called to respect because maybe that don't come as easy to the woman that's my take on it right those are things we have to work to do to ensure that we respect our husbands while the husbands ensure that they love their wives and I don't believe marriage should ever end in divorce. I be, the Bible talks about it, say, basically it's the hardness of our heart why we get divorced, yeah? So this decision must be taken to the point where you say, I'm never gonna get divorced, I'm never gonna plan on getting divorced. So the woman or the man I'm gonna marry should be the one for me. We should consult these things because see what happened to Johnny Depp there? Like these people, the, the person you choose can make or break you. And that's what I wanted to say. So if you're planning to get married, if you are already married, work on that. But if you're planning to get married, um, if you haven't gotten married yet, make sure this decision is the right one. Make sure this is where God is leading you. Make sure this is where you should be. All right.
so just a word of advice or some words of advice as it relates to choosing a partner just so that you don't end up sleeping with the enemy um one pray you meet somebody you don't want to be wasting your time um when i was courting i understood one thing i understood that all relationships end in two ways either one marriage or second kind of breakup so you know if you are gonna get to know a person clearly you want to if the aim is marriage not that you're gonna see somebody and be like oh yeah man marry you right now but if the aim is marriage then you need to vet this person pray about it ask the lord if he wants you to um marry this person if this is the person for you when you've received that answer or that impression you then start premarital counseling pre actually pre-engagement counseling then you get engaged then you do premarital counseling um be open to other people's advice be open to what people are telling you Pe sometimes you are in the situation you're so in love you don't see things they see it so be open to that and just understand that when you're married the person is not you can't change a person what happens is the person even reveals himself more because they get more comfortable him or herself so they're gonna get more comfortable and they're gonna reveal themselves so just some um things for you to look out for yeah and i would advise us to read there's a book messages to young people i read that book a lot of advice in there um adventist home and yeah messages to young people and there's another one about young lovers counsels to young lovers or something like that i'll put them down below so you'll see them and um yeah read these books counseling read the books pray well, pray counseling read right read different relationship books love languages the five love languages i read that one too so these are some things that i would advise um any of us all right have a good day this one was kind of heavy or deep i think i think they're all deep anyways but yeah um have a good day if you know somebody who you think is making the wrong decision pray about it and ask the lord how we can say this to them you know how can i say this to them that you I, I believe you're making the wrong decision um and we may need to choose another path or whatever but yeah have a good one and i really hope this works out for anybody in situation like that where they are the victim and they're being portrayed as the perpetrator all right bye i'll see you next week don't forget to like share subscribe comment down below all right have a good one bye